If the initial condition is 0 comma 6, what is the range of the solution curve, y is equal to f of x, for x is greater than or equal to 0? So we have a slope field here for a differential equation. And we're saying, okay, if we have a solution where the initial condition is 0 comma 6, so 0 comma 6 is part of that solution. So let's see, 0 comma 6. So this is part of the solution. And we want to know the range of the solution curve. So the solution curve, you can eyeball a little bit by looking at the slope field. So as x, remember, x is going to be greater than or equal to 0. So it's going to include this point right over here. And as x increases, you can tell from the slope, OK, y is going to decrease. But it's going to keep decreasing at a slower and slower rate. And it looks like it's asymptoting towards the line y is equal to 4. So it's going to get really, it's, as x gets larger and larger and larger, it's going to get infinitely close to y is equal to 4. But it's not quite going to get there. So the range, the y values that this is going to take on, y is going to be greater than 4. It's not ever going to be equal to 4. So I'll do, it's going to be greater than 4. That's going to be the bottom end of my range. And at the top end of my range, I will be equal to 6. 6 is the largest value that I am going to take on. Another way I could have written this is 4 is less than y is less than or equal to 6. Either way, this is a way of describing the range, the y values that the solution will take on for x being greater than or equal to 0. If they said for all x's, well, then you might have been able to go back this way and keep going. But they're saying the range of the solution curve for x is greater than or equal to 0. So we won't consider those those values of x less than 0. So there you go. The curve would look something like that. And you can see the highest value it takes on is 6. And it actually does take on that value because we're including x equaling a 0. And then it keeps going down, approaching 4, getting very, very close to 4, but never quite equaling 4.